Oh my gosh! Nate, your hair has grown so much since the first episode. <gasps> really? Yeah. Thank you so much. It was so short, but so has yours. I, wow. Yeah, I know. It's grown so much. How do you keep up with it? I Water. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but yeah, it's grown so much since the first episode. Thank you. Yeah, I like. I feel like I should grow out my hair, but in order to do that, that requires me to not cut it. It's awful, especially yeah. like that sort of awkward stage, which I kind of feel like I'm at right now. You just look in the mirror and you're like, who is that person, right? <laughs> well, yeah. Mirror me is fun, but camera me... I don't like her. <laughs> and speaking of camera you and camera me, <gasps> welcome back to part two of Camp Think Straight. Ooh, special episode. Yes. In the last episode, the red team won both the tent building and s'mores challenge, while the green team won the fire building challenge. Yeah, I'm going to say I had a lot of fun winning that first day. I thought it was really exciting. Yeah, you're very competitive. Yeah. I channeled my inner Bear girls to start that fire, but I couldn't have done it without the help of my team. But I was just like, you know, I, all those years of watching Bear girls really paid off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> However, though, in this episode, we're going to be learning how to tie some knots and lashings, then compete in tying them together. We will also be learning about first aid and then put that knowledge to the test. Yeah. Green team, maybe more so than the red team. <laughs> and then lastly, we are going to be competing in an epic final challenge that will be announced later on in the episode. Later. But without further ado, let's go back to Camp Think Straight. Oh, I can't wait. Day two dawns on Camp Think Straight. Our campers awaken from their slumbers and prepare themselves for a day of competition, learning, and judgment. Campers, set at your tables with your teams. All right, so right now we're gonna just talk through the basics of first aid because you may need to know it later. Who knows what to do when you cut yourself? Clean it. I feel like we all should know at this point because here, if you want to give us a beautiful thumbs up. Yes. That's why Harriet can't have knives. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you say the first step was? Clean it. Clean it. Like it. <laughs> you live? All right. So, first off, you start by cleaning it. What do you do if it's a deep wound? Well, don't you need to like make sure it's not bleeding so you have to like, contact it or something? Or, like, so, right. apply pressure. Yeah. yeah. So you apply pressure first if it's a really deep wound, and then your part has an easier time pumping, pumping blood downwards. So say I gash my arm open, I apply pressure, and then I hold it over my head. That way it bleeds less. Oh, wow. Now typically you would have something to apply pressure with, so you have like gauze or anything, and if it bled through your gauze, instead of replacing by taking that gauze off, you just add more until you can get help or stitches or whatever you need, right? So now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is broken bones. Who knows what to do when you break a bone? Body. <laughs> <laughs> well, until medical emergency, right? Right, don't touch it. It's, 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 we're, talking, we're talking in the middle of the wilderness, you are stuck somewhere and you broke your bone and you don't know what to do. <laughs> I, I'm sure that's how it always starts, but I meant more like, how do you take care human, of the injury? A splint. A splint. a splint. Yeah. Harriet, what is a splint? It's the thing, so like if a bone breaks, it, it keeps it straight so it kind of heals correctly, right? Yeah, so it stays in place yeah. because if your bone is misplaced, instead of them just like wrapping it and popping it together, it needs surgery. So you will split the leg and then you typically tie something around it pretty tight to hold the leg in place. 
Now, if you're in the middle of the wilderness, you can use things like sticks and whatever you have that can wrap around it and tie. All right, head injury. Who knows what to do for a head injury? Lift up the head. Half a pound. Don't fall asleep. Oh. All right, that's good. Don't fall asleep. If you have a concussion, you cannot fall asleep. And it needs to be checked out. Now, if you get somebody with a head injury, you need to figure out if you can get help to where you are, or you need to get somewhere else. But first and foremost, keep them awake. Try and talk to them, things like that. You want to keep them mentally aware, because once they go, if you fall asleep on a concussion, you're not going to know if they're going to wake up. OK? All right, guys, so up next is some knots and lashings. So do the square knot. What you're gonna wanna do is take your two pieces of rope, or one piece of rope with two ends. You're gonna wanna put your right end over the left end, okay? Just right over left. And then now this, the piece that was the right is now the left, so then left under. So you have like a little twisty bit, like that. Wait, oh, oh. And now you're gonna take left over right, and then right under through the loop. Like that? You want it to be like, see these two loops? You want to be able to do that. You guys see that? Oh, yeah, you got it right here. Oh, yes. <laughs> I did not do my so right. So the thing to, to keep in mind right is you want the right. two pieces of rope coming out from each loop to be on the same end. Under. So see how these two are on like this side of the loop? These two on the underside? Under. That's what you want. Now the cool thing about this knot is you can pull it however tight you want, and it's never going to come undone. The like saying for this is two on the inside, one on the outside. So if you're right hand, you're gonna take this part, you're gonna put it over, you're gonna do one loop on the inside, another loop on the inside, so you have two on the inside, and then you're gonna create another loop by putting it on the outside and pulling it through. So inside, inside, so see how you got two loops like that? Yeah. And then you're gonna come down, you're creating oh, a new loop okay. to put it through, like that. And then okay. I just started it. <gasps> I did gonna... it! Yeah, we did it! Let me see. <laughs> that is a tall line. <laughs> hey, we didn't need his help! <laughs> All right, campers, we're gonna do some lashing. You're gonna put your string around here. We are learning a knot called the clove hitch. Pretty much what you're gonna do, you wanna focus on the top. You're gonna make a beautiful little X, all right? And then you just take the cord, it goes under both pieces and through the middle, and you just pull, except it's typically not that messy, but it'll work. You pull, that is a clove hitch. Like that? Cross okay. it over the top, the right and then take yeah. the bottom of that and put it through the middle. Oh, like? Like to turn it on the opposite way, and then put it through the, the middle of the edge. Oh, I see, I see. I think this is right. The clove hitch is easy, it's just something that holds in the beginning and at the end of when you do your lashing. All right, so I have three sticks. Um, they're all same, kind of same thickness. It's, they're not the best, but they'll work. Pretty much what you're gonna do is get that off. Um, you're gonna start with your clove hitch. Now what are you gonna do is you're gonna go over and under, back and forth, like four or five times, maybe three, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, and then I'm just gonna wrap around here and then pull it through. Now, once all of these are wrapped together, you need to secure it in a different way. So now we're gonna take our rope and we're gonna go around the in-between knots and do this like three or four times. One, two. Now, once we've done this, you're gonna take okay, your bundle of rope and you're just gonna do another clove hitch and then we're gonna stand it up, but we picked them up very gently. <laughs> we set we set down the one really long one first. <laughs> we move them up. And then we kind of just <gasps> Wow. Oh, oh organize it. Quick, put the camera on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh pick sticks that are the same length. It makes this part a little bit easier and makes it actually look a little bit more like a tripod. But this is how you lash and make your own little tripod. All right, so the award from the S'mores Challenge receives these two books on knots, which is you guys, you forgot about it. Would you like them? Yes. Okay. Why would we not take them? No, no, you guys seem to be oh the weird God. group. <laughs> okay, first of all, can I say something? How do they get a scout and two books? Okay, that's all I gotta say. We just gotta do teamwork. Teamwork.
All right, guys, so with Get the quote page, we go over, correct? Yep. Make that X. Go through. I'm working on with the other one. With the with this one? Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay. I don't think it has the 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 quote the, the page. I don't remember. Well, it has it. Oh, 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 heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, let's go. I will zone down. So. Four. Okay, I've run this way four times. Alright, can you guys kind of this up? There's an X. No. Okay, so put it under again. Do we have the X? Where's the X? Right there. Okay. Alright. Campers, now that we have made the tripods, we are moving on to the next challenge, which is some knot tying. You will have 20 seconds to tie the knot that I say. So there's three of you on each team, so that's up to three points each round. Okay. okay? For the first knot, starting in a couple seconds, please tie for me the square knot. Go. Three, <laughs> two, one, Done. stop. Done. Right. So over here we have one correct. And that's it for the red team. One, two, three correct for the green team. I would like for you to tie me the clove hitch. Go. Oh, oh that's what we just did, right? Yes, yes, sir. Done. Done. Are you done? How? Not. Done. Five, four. <laughs> Three, two, oh, yeah. one. Done. Hands up. That's fine. Oh, dang it. Okay, let's start over here with red team. I'm sorry, y'all. That is not the clove hitch. <laughs> Which one is it? That's the wrong one. That is not the clove hitch. That's the uh, the clove hitch is the one Olivia taught us. That is also not the clove hitch. <laughs> so zero point for red team for this round. <laughs> that is a clove hitch. Oh, you know, I don't know if clove. That is a clove hitch. <laughs> and that is a clove hitch. Yeah! Another three points for the green team. Please tie for me the tot line. Go okay. ahead, bro. The one that we just I can do did. that one. Okay. Got it. Three, two, one. Hands up. Slope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a tot line. I know. That is not. That's the beginnings of a tot line. You're close. You're close. <laughs> <laughs> that is a tall line. Oh, Sorry, guys. <laughs> that is also a tall line. That's a tall line. That is a tall line. Yeah! <laughs> so that brings the final score with the red team at three points, I believe. I believe it was three points. Yeah. And the green team, nine <laughs> points oh. for this victory. Your reward is something that may come in handy later. So whenever you go camping, it's very important to know about your wildlife, know about the area you're going camping in, and to take care of it and leave it how you found it. There's something called leave no trace, and there are seven steps, and it's important to know because not only will it make camping a little bit easier for you, it'll also make it easier for others behind you. The seven steps are plan ahead and prepare, travel and camp on durable surfaces, dispose of waste properly, leave what you find, minimize campfire impact, respect wildlife, and be considerate to others. They pass out these cards that have all the information you need on them. So if you really forget what leave no trace is, just pick one of these up and take it with you. Um, so we're gonna go Get check on Jay really quick. Um, he's been setting up for a while, so we're gonna go see what he's up to. How are you guys' day? Pretty good. I'm tired. I slept on the ground. Well, on a mattress pad on the ground, but still. My back hurts. I'm also old, but that's okay. 
The floor oh game. my, oh wait. <laughs> wait, <laughs> have you been Guys, I'm injured. Oh no. Oh, my, my leg's broken. Okay, my wait. My left leg is broken. Okay, huh? Split. Nice. we need to find two sticks and I have some rope in my pocket. <laughs> Six. Where's the red team? I said oh, let's God. check on you and they just, they didn't want to come, I guess. <laughs> All right. Red team! Red team! They don't care about you. Right? How are you doing? Come back! Come back! I've got a broken leg and a broken arm! Okay, so... Okay, here. But you guys only need to worry about my broken leg. <laughs> Red team! Okay, so I need to put this under my <laughs> Usually, you do not have to move severely injured victims. Red team! And then, can you How are you feeling about the fact that Red team isn't here? I feel let down. I feel disappointed. Red team! My arm is broken. What? You need to help me. Oh. Hey, uh, Christina, can you do the, the, I'm, I'm panting. What am I doing? You guys need to help me. My arm's broken. My right arm's okay, broken. Okay, we've got a brace. What am I doing? Uh, the, the hot one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, so I also have this belt like on me, so we're gonna we're gonna tie the top and and then we're gonna do the bottom. From my jacket. <laughs> and there's no like you don't have any um, gash wounds, so you don't have to. Put that not on. that I know of. Okay. Okay. Horse yeah, I think we got some pretty sure sticks. I think we did. It. I think we did it. I can still bend my leg. I wonder what knot you guys should use. Is there a? Uh, yeah. I don't know how to do knots. You know how to do it. You know how to do a taut line. Think about what knots I taught you. I don't remember two of the three of them. That's fair. You got one. <laughs> Wow, thank you. <laughs> I told you guys. Wait. Okay, here. Jason, too much pain to tell me. Okay, so the guys that didn't show up for like. Yeah, we didn't. Know. I was calling out for you. I was going. Oh, is that red what? team. Red team. Is that why you're gone? Yes. <laughs> we were talking about Among Us. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we were. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say you're done? No. No. Maybe not. We don't know how to do a square knot. It's the easiest one. Is oh. it supposed well, to be? Right, right. Can I do the, yeah, the, 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 the top? The That's line. actually pretty good. Really? Yeah. 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 Green team, you're like like taking care trains. of the broken leg. Pretty good. Nice. Well, that's okay. <laughs> the test is going to be if I can bend my arm. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Why did that look oh, painful? No. Not the sticks. <laughs> Red team and green team, this challenge is over. I have now healed my body fully. Thank you for your assistance in that. I, it is greatly appreciated. Let's go over what happened in this challenge. Green team showed up as soon as the camera came over and they chose good sticks and they did a correct splint on my broken leg. Red team took about two to three minutes to show up, but once they showed up, they got <laughs> sticks, they got their bandanas, and they made a splint on my broken right arm. Was it effective? Who's to say? But with all that being said, Green Team is the winner of this challenge. Wanna thank the Academy? <laughs> no, I think that those that knot tying one was really helpful. Um, finding good sticks was we really also helpful. Had and emergency pocket guide. Yeah. Which had a sentence on splinting, I will say, so I yeah, don't it think was, it was to yeah. our advantage necessarily. But, you know, working together, um, oh, yeah. yeah, and having leftover stuff to work with. Now to announce what the final challenge is, we will head down to the flagpoles. Our final challenge is... Archery. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right, our final challenge is archery. I don't know how our teams are gonna do with a bow in their hands, but I'm sure we'll find out. We will, yes. And this is a very special challenge because everything leading up to this challenge, it's not going to determine the winner or not. It determines a special advantage that each team may or may not get in this challenge. 
So, so far, what the scores are looking alike, the green team has won four competitions, and the red team has won two competitions. Each team will start out with nine arrows, three for each person, and will get the ability to shoot those. And then after that, the green team will get four extra arrows that they get to choose who shoots, and the red team will get two extra arrows that they get to choose who shoots them. The team with the most amount of points at the end of this challenge will be the winner of Camp Think Straight. So who's going first, Nate? God, I have my cheerleaders and supporters. Oh. 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 Yeah, let's go! Maybe Maya will do really good and we can bring this back. Or maybe the green team will just do poorly. Let's hope on that. team a shot you guys get to decide who shoots your four arrows I will go ahead and say right now you need one point to win okay. all right discuss I think she should shoot two yeah um, see how it goes from there. Okay. after she shoots two yeah um, sounds good I can do that <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt that much. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys. Good <laughs> God! <laughs> Harry, it tells you. It tells you went sideways it again. You <laughs> I missed. I'm <laughs> <That was> sorry. <laughs>
reached the end. It's been a fun two days. I know it's felt like a week, but I'm very proud of the work you guys have done. Yes. Both teams have put in phenomenal amounts of effort, energy, and passion into these competitions. Yes, you have, in, in one way or another. Um, but we have decided which team is the winner. Yes. And the winner is... The Green, Green Team! team. Yeah. Good job, y'all. We're very proud of you. Extremely proud. Great job, guys. Yeah. I mean, I'll accept the fact. Yeah. Oh, I'm so yeah. proud of you guys. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. So, uh, do we win anything? Um, crisp high five. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. And and these people, <laughs> their friendship. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow! Ooh. That was so much fun! That was amaze balls. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, not only did we learn so much about camping, but we also got the opportunity to learn and bond with our crew. Oh, and that was the best part, definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But not to bring the mood down or anything, but this is our last episode of the season. Of the season, I know. It's so sad. Mm -hmm. Um. I've honestly had, it's been such a wild ride to do this with the crew and just everyone with you. I've had so much fun. Um, I have laughed a lot. I've learned a lot. Um, I think <laughs> probably one of my favorite things that we did was the Bipanic Titanic crossover extravaganza. <laughs> that was so much fun to film. I don't think I'd laugh that hard in, in months. It was yeah, so much fun. And I especially like being able to act like I was in love with you. That's I know. the best part. Yeah. Oh, you're not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, not only did we have fun, but we definitely learned a lot as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Like Harriet mentioned, we learned a lot about queer representation in Hollywood and how that can affect audiences and affect distribution. And that was just really interesting. Yeah, it really was. Um, definitely need to do that more next season. Absolutely. Absolutely. But before we go, though, we wanted to bring in our crew and say goodbye and tell them how much we love them. Oh my gosh. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's the beloved um, crew. It's the beloved crew. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for making this, you know, what it is. It was thank you for sticking with us and our shenanigans. Um, you know, it's nice to have a group of friends that legitimately care about your dreams and aspirations and like really want to help you make something. And so, um, yeah. No. I mean, I'm just so glad that we all got to come together and got to create and participate in things that like were fun for us and things that pushed our creative uh, creativity. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, it was just amazing. Thank you guys so much for making this show a reality and just sticking with us and standing by us. And um, we honestly, truly could not have done it without you. So Absolutely not. Absolutely. Um, <sighs> so for the last time of the season, Bye! Bye. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Flip this around. <laughs> no, I didn't want to see it. Hi. I just want to say hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Hi, Jing. Hi, yeah. Jing. Hey. This is a surprise oh, for you. <laughs> Camp Thanks Drake. We should make us a, a theme song. Camp Thanks Drake. Camp Thanks Drake. Camp Thanks Drake. Camp Thanks Drake. Alright, or do you wanna like look in the camera? Oh nice, I like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. And the seven steps are. <laughs> Can I just read them and then we call it? I've never been good at this, but let's go check on the board. Hello. 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 Hello.